Right, let's talk England. One more friendly to go, and England and Southgate has to name his 26-man final England squad for Euro 2024 by 11 p.m. on Friday night. That's after they've played Iceland at Wembley. Our senior reporter, Rob Dorsett, has been covering England, of course, for a long time now, and he assessed who he thinks is definitely going to Germany, which players are unlikely to be going, and who is currently sweating on their place on the plane. You can read Rob's article in full on the Sky Sports app, by the way and on the website. But let's have a little run through what Rob thinks, OK? He thinks these 18 players are in the green zone, which is basically they're guaranteed a seat on the plane. He may not agree, but there are not too many surprises. A couple, uh, of obviously the likes of Harry Kane, Bakaya Saka, Phil Foden. He's put Cole Palmer in there. Of course, still relatively new in England terms, but he scored his first international goal, didn't he, at St James's Park from the penalty spot. Jude Bellingham, obviously, Declan Rice. Uh, some of the others as well. In here, uh, Kobe Mainu is maybe a slightly controversial choice to be in the green. What about Mark Gahey and Esri Konza? Uh, Rob thinks that they're guaranteed a place on the plane as things stands, and the three goalkeepers probably uh, speak for themselves with Pickford, uh, Ramsdale, and Dean Henderson. So that's Rob's green zone. He thinks those guys are on the way to Germany. And what about the red zone? Players that he thinks are definitely going to miss out. He's put four players in this at the moment. Uh, they're all youngsters, aren't they? James Trafford, the goalkeeper, uh, also Gerald Conza, Adam Wharton. I thought he was brilliant at St James's Park midweek, by the way. I think he'll be a bit unlucky if he doesn't go, but Rob thinks it's going to be a bit too soon for Wharton and also Curtis Jones. All young, of course, plenty of opportunities coming in the future for them. and Maybe that's what's in Rob's thinking when it comes to putting them all in red. And now, the interesting players, the 11 players that Rob believes are in the amber zone and there's only eight players left to take from this group of 11. So a few are going to miss out. The players that are sweating on their inclusion in the squad at this moment in time. Uh, this is where Southgate will be focusing his attentions, Rob thinks, over the next few days. Players include Jarrah Branthwaite. He's had a brilliant season for Everton. I thought he looked really good when he came on at St. James's Park. Big unit of a player. Uh, also on there, Lewis Dunk, a fellow centre-back. Joe Gomez, who can play at centre-back and full-back as well. Might that help him? Luke Shaw, who's not played since mid-February. If Shaw's not available, will Gomez go in as a potential uh, backup option at full-back? The striker situation's really interesting. Ollie Watkins didn't get much of a sniff at St James's midweek. Ivan Tony, will he get an opportunity at Wembley on Friday? James Madison, who did pretty well when he came on. Jack Grealish, who did excellently when he came on at St James's Park, I thought as well. Jared Bowen got a start, of course. Anthony Gordon has injury problems of his own. And Ebere Eza, who played very well up at Newcastle and maybe he's got himself into Gareth Southgate's thinking. So, there you go. That's some of the thoughts. Why don't you have your say, by the way? You can head over to Sky Sports, the website and the app as well. Decide which attackers and defenders you think should make the cut. Ollie Watkins, Eberé Eze and Jared Branthwaite are currently the favourites to make it as voted by you guys. So do get in touch. It's fun. I think I'm going to do that this afternoon, Emma. <laughs> I, uh, I feel like you've got a, a lot of opinions, but I'm, I'm I, very I think everyone does. I, I, it's what gets that stage. I feel really sorry for Gareth Southgate because... It's tough, isn't it? Whoever it's he really picks, tough. people are going to go, why you picked him? And you may leave out, people yeah. go, I can't believe you left him out. Yeah. It's really, really difficult. And of course, the likes of Jaden Sancho, who was brilliant in the first half of the Champions League final, not even in. in There's only players not even in the 33. Yeah. yeah. Proper headache for Gareth Southgate, yep. for sure. Uh, so many questions to, to think about. Uh, one of them, though, the number of strikers that he takes, that is one of the big questions. Massive, massive. Ollie Watkins started against Bosnia on uh, Tuesday night. Uh, I had a difficult night, I thought, as well. But Harry Kane came on, totally changed the dynamic yeah. of, the, of the team and scored a goal as well. It's not just Kane's goals, it's the way he links up play. So important. Yeah, uh, so. Ivan Tony is expected to get minutes against Iceland on Friday night. So is that his last chance to stake a claim to the England manager? It's hard to imagine, isn't it? I think that basically in a squad, even with 26, that he could take three number nines. I'm sure he'd take a variety of forwards, but really, will he take three nines? I doubt it. So maybe Tony's on the outside. But Gareth Southgate did say and did insist that Tony will get minutes on, on Friday night. I personally think he would have made up his mind surely before the game. What is the point in playing a game on Friday night and then using players, if you like, who are not going to be in that 26? I think that defeats the object, really. 
I would have had him absolutely in my squad a few months ago, but now I do think he's up against it. And what happens if Ivan Tony comes on and, and he's brilliant for the last sort of 15 minutes against Iceland? The great thing is, is that England have got good options there. But Southgate said it when he announced the squad. He said, strikers are a rare breed. They're a little bit more high maintenance. And can you take so many of them? They're, they're like prowling lands. And we've got appropriately three lands here. And one of them is going to be sort of prowling around in the background, sort of disappointed that he's not playing.